Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to submit a request for captioning to the Caption Hub. First, go to Courses and select Caption Hub from the list of courses and open it in a new tab. Next, select the name of the course that contains the video you want to be captioned. Click Panopto Recordings from the course menu. Hover the mouse under the title of the video you're going to caption and select Share. Set the video's share settings to anyone with the link. Click Save Changes. Select and copy the link URL. Next, go to the Caption Hub tab and click on the Captioning Hub Request Form button. This is the Captions Request Form, so here you'll want to create a new request. Paste the video URL and click Load. Choose that you own this video. I own this video if you've created it. And check all that apply. You will most likely be choosing instructional use. Hopefully you will be using this video over more than one course and term. Only select disability accommodation if you are creating the video uh, because of an accommodation that's been requested from accessibility resources. And Washington 45, if you're creating the video for a course on this list, if you're not sure what a Washington 45 course is, just select this and open that list. Here you can select a turnaround time. 10 days is the least expensive, but we have options for if you need a turnaround faster, don't hesitate to choose one of those. Select a license. Select a group. It's most likely going to be instruction. You can add any technical terms that are commonly misspelled here in the glossary field for the captioner. In the notes to a college administrator field, any notes or questions you have for e-learning, you can put here. And then select create request. So here you'll want to double check and make sure everything looks right. You'll see that this is the cost to the college and the unsubsidized cost if we were not getting subsidies from the SBCTC. So once you receive the captions, you're going to get an email that's going to give you instructions on how to add those captions onto your video. And if you have any questions or need help, don't hesitate to contact eLearning. Thanks for listening.